Yes, so you're tuned in to the Music and Culture Podcast with me, Mandla Gingirkan. I really thank you very much for joining us this side. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do the right thing. Subscribe, share, comment, like, whatever you can do, whatever makes sense for you, just do it. Just do it. So we have an update for Shebeshit. Uh, this one will be a quick one. There are two things. Firstly, let's start with the situation in hospital. Shebeshit is still admitted in that hospital. Uh, in that private healthcare hospital where he's been treated for abdominal fracture, broken leg, and head injuries. You remember last week his mother told us that Shebeshit suffered some abdominal fracture, broken leg, and head injuries. So he's getting those multiple surgeries in those places to ensure that um, his recovery is fast-tracked. So we're just going to be checking out on this one. But there's news. There's like good news. There's some positive news that Shebeshit is started to talk properly. So he's starting to make proper speech. He's starting to talk properly. That's according to a family spokesperson, Mr. Lord Ramusi, that uh, Shebeshit is recovering. He looks like he's showing signs that uh, his, his speech is coming back. He's starting to talk properly. So that's good news. You remember Shebeshit was uh, involved in that accident on R37 as he was traveling to Liboa Homo uh, where he collided with a truck and that accident took his daughter's life. Regarding that, the family is currently preparing for the funeral but there is no date yet. There is no confirmed date yet for the burial. Uh, the family spokesperson also uh, cited the fact that they are still waiting for the doctor's response with regard to whether Shebeshit will be able to attend the funeral. And also, they are not sure if this funeral will be a public funeral or will be a private funeral just for the family. You know, Shebeshit is famous. He's loved around South Africa. People like him. They love him. They support him. That's why you, you saw a lot of musicians were sharing a lot of messages, outpouring messages from artists, from different people of influence out in Limpopo, sharing their heartfelt condolences and also messages of support. We also share messages of support. This side to say Shebeshit may recover fast, may his recovery be fast-tracked and it's good that he's in that private hospital. But the family is not sure if this burial will be a private or a public one and there's a lot of interest i mean if he's known he's famous and he has a lot of friends he's made a lot of friends probably people will be itching to go and support him there at, at his home and it will be of huge interest whether they find out whether they are allowed or not allowed so uh, we are we're just going to be checking on this one because people like shebeshit when celebrities uh lose their loved ones or when they're in trouble. Most of the time, you find other celebrities also, or people who are also in the same status, or artists. You find that artists also want to support. So people that love, like the fans, who want to go and support. So it will be interesting to see whether this is going to be a public or a private funeral or, or what. So we're just going to be keeping tabs on this one to make sure that we do not miss anything because Shebeshit is supported from everywhere in South Africa. People love him. So those fans, those artists that are his friends, those fa families that will want to go and support, we want to know whether this will be a private or a public funeral. So for now, we're just going to leave it there and then keep tabs on it to make sure that we do not miss anything for you. Just make sure that you subscribe, you comment, you like, you share. Thanks for joining us this side. We really, really appreciate your time. See you again in the next upload. Salute.